option of beefing up the lift. So Mike, my friend, brought over this longer one. And welded up this for a bolt to fit this 8-ton ram jack. The old one was 3-ton. Uh, and I've opened up the holes where the chain's going to go in as well. Here was the uh, chain we had before. And now the uh, this bigger one going to be in. And these are the bolts that I was using before. And uh, take a look at the size beside them. That's the new ones. So that's what's going to be uh, holding it up. Hopefully all goes well. There they are bolted on. Trying to make it safer to lift stronger. Well, it's getting elevated. Cutting some supports to lift it up to try to make it more even. So, we'll see shortly. Twenty things to disconnect. One million of them. Oh. Next step for this will be to tilt it up on its side so that we can get access to the bottom. The reason for that is the engine seized. You cannot rotate it. Therefore, you have to rotate the one on there in order to take apart this whole bottom piece in order to take the crankshaft out, to free up the crankshaft so that Take the 
nuts off of the torque converter to flywheel. Can't do that right now because you have to rotate the flywheel. So, kind of a big job just to swap out a bad motor. What's interesting is, is that this is going to be at least the third motor. There's the wrecking yard markings on this motor which was a replacement which I could tell because there were so many strip bolts and over tightened ones and missing things so it wasn't exactly done correctly anyhow that's the uh, next step in the Marana Marano Saga.